Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of this video is uh, how to simplify breakout trading like a pro. Alright, so we have been talking about different types of breakout trading, part 1 to part 4. We have also been talking about breakout trading at uh, a cycle point. But today I want to talk about how one can simplify breakout trading like a pro. There is a simple way uh, to trade a breakout as a day trader, swing trader, and position trader. The first thing that one should remember is this. If you are looking for okay, a simple breakout trading, you want a financial instrument that is trending. All right? So if the financial instrument is trending up, it must display higher lows and higher highs. With that basic market principle, we can work with that to find okay a simple breakout trading signal. How does it work? Ah, oh, that's a very good question, my friend. There's one example here. We are looking at Amazon stock that has been galloping. You can see that it's going up. Okay, I'm on a weekly chart. <clears throat> And you can see in this session here is going up. So the momentum, but this is a momentum breakout, all right? Right, it's going up, displaying high lows, high high. So all we need to do, all right, very simple breakout trading strategy, because we see it's going up, which means the dominant force is bullish. Each time a candlestick bar is closed, we higher the high, the low, and the media line. So very often there will be a breakout above the high of that candlestick bar if the price is going up. Because if it's going to be bullish, it must form a new higher high. Very often, you will notice that sometimes, by doing that simple strategy, like you can see here, I'm on a weekly chart now. So today is uh, Monday. The market is not open yet because the time in London is now Okay, 10 minutes past 2. The market will be open in 20 minutes time frame, in 9 minutes past 10 in New York. You see here? So, this is a new week that is beginning, all right? So, that candlestick uh, bar that you are looking at on the weekly chart is closed, but we have a bullish progression taking place. So, all we need to do, once the candlestick bar is closed, we highlight the high, the low, and the media line. Because we want to trade breakouts, we are looking for financial instrument that will break above okay, that high and find a support. Very simple. Very simple. And you'll be amazed sometime if you look around that there will be stock as soon as the market open uh, or a few days later, the price may go up and pull back to retest the high of the prior candlestick bar. And uh, this uh, retest here, this will allow us to expect, okay, a continuation. So the breakout is taking place when the price breaks above, okay, the high of the prior candlestick bar. But for us, in order to have, okay, a trading setup, we will prefer it to, to retest, okay, that high. And then we implement a top-down trading method to trade it. Sometimes the price may not retain that high, but will just continue to go up very fast. That can be quite challenging okay, for new traders uh, to trade those fast-running, so to speak, uh, financial instruments. We can do exactly the opposite, uh, similar thing in a downtrend. So if the momentum is bearish and the price is going down, all right, we wait for a candlestick bar on that time frame to close and we highlight the high, the low and the media line because the price going down, the dominant fall is bearish. We will we will expect a break below the low of that candlestick bar, break below, retest and turn around and we'll use that as a bearish breakout point. We will implement a top down trading method to trade it. This is a simpler way, okay, to trade, okay, breakout trading uh, signal like a pole, all right? So, if you look carefully here, uh, it's not very clear, like I see you see here, you highlight this doji here, I highlight the high, I have too many lines, I move some of them, and the low, and the media line, I'm here, I'm here, here, right here, all right? So, I'm going to call her now, uh, 
the high of that doji because we want to break out to be above the high. Why? Because we have okay a bullish trend price is going up you see it's going up all right don't apply this is a warning don't apply this strategy if the price is consolidating all right so how to simplify breakout trading like a pro is only applicable to financial instruments that are trending so if you go around uh, highlighting the higher and low and the media line and we're waiting for a breakout break below um, for a breakout trading it doesn't make any sense because you want a momentum in place it a, a price going up okay it's heading to one specific price level now what you are trying to do you are expecting a breakout above the prior high because if it's going to continue to go up it must go above that high all right as long as the momentum is intact, the bullish momentum is intact, the price should be able to display a new high high if there are more buyers. So pay attention to the red line here. All right. So here you can see that the price, is, in fact, it, it went down a bit before going up. This is something you see very often. But what I'm talking about here, we will prefer the, the breakout above the high of the prior candlestick. But sometimes you may not have it, but just be aware that the simplest way, all right, this is what I'm trying to highlight here, the, the simplest way to take to trade a breakout very often will occur above the high of the prior candlestick bar that is closed. All right. So this one here, you see this was very bullish tendency bar. So we want to make sure the price is going up first, otherwise it doesn't make any sense at all. And now we withdraw that high and we are waiting for a break bow retest, and then we take it from there. So for day trading purposes, we can use the weekly chart to look for higher than the high. Okay, and if the trend is already in place, and during the week, monitor that stock. And see whether at one point during the week the price will retest that level and find a support. If you find a support, then you implement a top down trading method to trade it. If you are swing trader, you can use a monthly chart. When a monthly chart can see by is closed and there is a trend, a bullish momentum in place or a bearish momentum in place. This is very, very important. I need to highlight that. Otherwise, you are doing something else. All right. If you are Position trader, you can apply the same thing on the quarterly chart. Quarterly candlestick by scroll, higher than high. If there is a trend already in place, or a bullish momentum in place, or a bearish momentum in place, all right, higher than high, low and the media line. But for bullish stock, you want a breakout above the high. If for bearish stock, you want a break, break down below the low, because it's just the definition of bullish. Bullish stock must form a new high, high, and we'll expect a breakout above the high. Try it, okay? Try to play with it. Sometimes you may see excellent trading setup. Sometimes you may not, all right? So as we are here now, so I'm talking about um, this uh, doji here, the red one. Let's see, uh, go to the two-hour time frame where we can see. Uh, that's the red line we are talking about. So on the two-hour time frame, uh, which week is that? Hold on. Uh, the 5th of uh, uh, 19 of May. All right. 19 of May. Uh, good. Uh, 19 of May, that's the one here. Uh, let's go into the daily chart. Uh, we close in 19 of May. So, following week, you see, following week, you see here. Okay, break breaks the ball. retest on a daily chart. You see the tail of this candle. Uh, I'm, by the way, I, I went. I want to go to the two-hour time frame. So just highlight the high, okay, of that candlestick bar that is closed, and then you can look for the break above and retest during the week. If you are last week candlestick bar highlight the high, if uh, the bullish momentum is already in place, and wait for the retest. All right. So we come 19, week ending 19, and I look following week, few, you see, few days later, we see this kind of thing on above the high of for the previous week. And from there, that's what I'm talking about here. Pew. All right, that's what we're talking about. So for this week that is about to begin today, 
we go to the weekly uh, to the weekly chart again as a day trader okay and uh, we can just place a line on the high there so that's the level we will if that bullish momentum will continue we will expect a break above retest turn around that's it very simple huh? very simple all we are doing we want to participate in a bullish trend <laughs> you alright a close candle we place the high and we wait for the break above retest turn around that's all all right so that one is here now so I'll change the color this one into orange and I want you to pay attention to the red line so as the market open it may not happen today it may happen a few days later if the bullish momentum continue probably this week you will see you brace a boy and hopefully sometime it will retest it sometime it may not it may we may have a kind of retest of this uh, level of uh, 1008 levels all right and then we take it from there using a top down trading method to take it up as a day trader if you are swing trader we can go to the monthly chart is there a bullish trend in place yes good it's bullish trend in place is this candlestick bar closed yes no so we cannot apply it now so the only thing that we can apply it to is the candlestick bar that is already closed which is this one here so we can place a line at a high of that monthly candlestick bar and all we are waiting for on the daily chart well two hour time frame or four hour time frame we want to break a bow retest of that level all right you can use it for day trading, swing trading, and position trading. This is the simplest way, okay, to trade a breakout. A momentum, okay, is in place. A trend is in place. A candlestick bar is closed. If that bullish momentum is still intact, the price will break the bow, the high of the last candlestick bar on that time frame. Very simple, isn't it? Very simple. So as a day trader, use the weekly chart. That would be very good. You can use even the monthly chart for day trading, quarterly chart. But some traders say, oh, don't talk, don't talk about that, okay? So I leave it weekly chart at least. One week is closed, a new week is beginning. A trend is in place, a bullish momentum is in place, high like the high. If that bullish momentum will continue, it will go above that high. So if you stay below it, we know that, okay, it's not displaying a new high high until the end of the week. So we will say, oh, this week we didn't have a new high high. Probably that bullish momentum is diminishing. We will do similar thing in a downtrend. Price is trending down. We know that the dominant fall is bearish. The higher the higher the low and the middle line of a, the last candlestick bar that is closed. All right, because we want to sell it. All right, we are watching the low break below that low, retest turn around. That's a, a bearish breakout. This is about how to simplify breakout trading like a pro. We can apply even on a two hour time frame, four hour time frame, daily chart, but I would prefer for day trader to use the weekly chart at least so you may have a okay, decent uh, trading setup. All right. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in a comment section. And of course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to simplify breakout trading like a pro. If you think this video has been useful to you, all right, feel free to give us the thumbs up. If you think that this is another blah blah blah, please let us know by giving us the thumbs down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial for other traders that may benefit from it, all right, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about how to simplify breakout trading like a pro. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.